You won't know it if you underestimated the people. You took a gamble and you lost. Okay, we don't like this. Okay, well then we're going to do this. And that is just how it's going to be. Evidence brought to light that there is a corrupt officer or that that officer did shoot that kid on purpose. I don't care how I look, I don't care how I sound, I don't care what the beat is. I just care the message gets across. Got some feedback. I figured I'd hit y'all up, let y'all know about that. Um, I don't know where to begin with this. Um, I'm pumped about some of the feedback I've gotten about how prepped and ready people are. Uh, that's pretty tight. Uh, I don't know what to say. Um, well, how do I put it? You know, I, I was, I made a video, y'all. Told y'all, y'all need to get up there and fucking do that shit. Uh, it got a lot of positive feedback. You know, I got a lot of positive feedback. People are like, ready to follow you. You know what I'm saying? Ready to make it happen. Uh, you know, people are like, yeah, you're right. You know, never, never. You know, people say they're going to hang it up if it's not done this year. Um kind of put some pressure on me, I guess, uh, that I wasn't necessarily prepared for, you know, um, I guess I kind of having to eat my own shit on this one, right, uh, talking about people not getting your ducks in a row, and just doing the revolution run the same circle, and then I come out and, you know, call it out for what it is without, you know, the complete direction. Um, there's some things that I guess I have to go ahead and admit, you know, I haven't, you know, scored yet. I haven't figured out, taken care of yet. Like, for instance, let, let me point one thing out to y'all that I think is vital. Now, when the time comes that this country finally does decide, you know, fuck the bullshit and they take over the government to make a change, you need to realize that we would need states' rights, state enforcements, and all that shit up and running prime, okay? We need to get our local governments to help us. I understand what everybody's saying, you know, uh, in their minds right now. Yeah, you know, how can you say, you know, go ahead and, and, you know, keep the other governments? Well, it's states' rights, motherfuckers, okay? That's why. You know what I'm saying my problem, my beef, my issue with the whole fucking system and how I see it from my perspective. I mean, mind that, y'all. Okay, from my perspective. My perspective is when the Federalist Party won back in, in the beginning of the 1900s, they took over, okay, and they created the federal government. Since then, we've had the wars, we've had the chaos, we've had the problems, we've had depression, we've had, you know, recessions, we've had every fucking problem. Now, true, we've had progress, but y'all failed to realize that a lot of these technologies and shit that we use today, we would have had back in the damn 50s had shit not been suppressed by the fucking federal government, okay? Uh, we would have been way past all this shit, we would have already had food for the fucking masses who would have been colonizing fucking space and everything like a boss is what would have been happening. The federal government is a war machine. Okay? The federal government is a control machine. The federal government lies, manipulates. Okay? The federal government is chock full of fucking lobbyists and motherfuckers for insurance and special interest groups and shit like that, okay? For the Bilderberg corporations to be able to run the show, okay? And have the people kept. All right, the federal government helps control the world's governments and has their economies based upon the same jack shit credit system that the Rothschilds and all their shit's tied to. Um, 
releasing, you know, yeah, 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 look, you motherfuckers got some ducats, right? Let them go ahead and live their lives, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and cut them off from being able to participate and fucking fuck shit up, but don't kill them, you know what I'm saying? They did their thing, you know what I'm saying? They made their mark in history in time. You know, I'm not saying kill these people. I, I never have. So somebody, you know, you know who you are. I talked about, you know, the ready to lynch them. You know what I'm saying? You're not somebody I want with me when I'm doing this shit. Okay? So all y'all that think about, you know, punching people, lynching people. You know what I'm saying? If you're talking about doing shit how I see it, you're off a fucking rocker if you're talking about killing anybody. Okay? Look. Don't hate the fucking hustler. You know what I'm saying? Don't hate the player. You know, hate the hustle, hate the game. You know what I'm saying? Look, they got their Monopoly money, they, they did it. They keep their yachts, they keep their houses, whatever. What the fuck ever? You know what I'm saying? Start anew, okay? States' rights, okay? States' rights, states' rights, states' rights, okay? We're still gonna have our state fucking government. We're still gonna have the fucking National Guard, okay? Whenever I say get rid of the fucking federal government, y'all, you know, I'm not saying get rid of our U.S. military. I do, I do say bring all the fuckers home, okay? We don't need to be out there killing anybody anywhere on any land, okay? It's time that, you know, the people in America let the rest of the world know, look, we're going to fight for you too. We're going to try to stop them from here, okay? Because, listen, y'all, I don't know if y'all realize this or not, but they are getting pissed over there. And over there is anywhere but here, okay? All these nations, all these countries, all the people there, they're only going to give the American people so much time to take care of their government before they're going to blame all of us for not doing the damn thing. You know what I'm saying? If we don't act, then we can't be mad when they come up here and fucking wipe our ass and just fucking destroy us. You know what I'm saying? Because we're constantly allowing all kinds of atrocities. I mean, another day passes, millions more die, you know what I'm saying? I mean, a change needs to happen. We need our local law enforcement, we need all the militias, we need all groups, we need everybody to understand, look, this is going to happen. Now, somebody asked me, why do you think it's important to bum rush these places and take them over. Well, y'all, I'm using my, my own thinking here, you know what I'm saying? If I were to design the movie, the book, the theme, the, the mission, the whole outline strategy plan of attack, whatever, why would I do that? Well, I'd fucking get a hold of all the people and let them know, hey, look, this is what's happening. You know what I'm saying? Have all the damn news stations fucking relay in real time, you know what I'm saying? cast it around the planet, you know what I'm saying, all the fucking other nations watch what's happening here, and they see how we get it done, you know what I'm saying, come on, come on, why don't we show the other nations how to do it, see, and, and how we would do it is by going there and showing them, period, we're fucking here, we're tired of fucking talks, time for changes, period, time to sit here and fucking cut fucking bullshit, and cut bullshit, fucking change, make change, it's going to take a minute, you know what I'm saying, it's going to take a minute, but one thing that, you know, we have to have Wall Street, believe it or not, involved a little bit, I mean, at least a little bit, because everybody's got their finances and shit like that, we don't want to fuck our communities, we don't want to fuck the, bi the fucking businesses that are going on right now, believe it or not, I know that all y'all like, fire sale, destroy everything, no, no, I don't agree with that. I agree that we can make changes step by step. And it starts with the real change first, y'all. It starts with changing the bullshit wars, the bullshit foods that's fucking poisoned, okay? The bullshit infrastructure that we live in, okay? Dams are going to fall here soon because, you know, they're falling apart. You know what I'm saying? I know a big dam hadn't broke yet, but here soon, watch. They're going to blow one up. You know what I'm saying? Probably in San Diego. Um, I don't, yeah, there's, 
false flag events. There's media control. You know what I'm saying? The media is manipulating everybody. And we know that. You know, those who are awake. You know what I'm saying? We know that. But they don't. We need to let them know. You know what I'm saying? That's why we need to secure the information. And secure our shit. Now, if everybody goes up into the White House. And packs it full. You know what I'm worried about? I'm worried that y'all would hurt our shit. You know what I'm saying? I think that. There's so many fucking stupid motherfuckers out there that when trying to change a bullshit system, you're going to set a fire to something, you're going to break something, you're going to punch somebody. And that just shows fucking stupidity and ignorance. Okay, You're worse than the people we're against. Okay, Because at least they're not fucking burning the fucking communities down. It's stupid, y'all. Don't riot. Don't do none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? There's no reason for chaos. You can do it with an order. I know that some of y'all that are on my side, you, just, you scratch your heads, but you, know, you gotta realize that I've been looking at this, okay? And I'm not looking at it in the way that we were all raised to believe in war and killing and hate and division. You know what I'm saying? That's not the way that I'm looking at it. You know what I'm, saying? I'm looking at it as open the door to change and hold that motherfucker open until change is complete it is that simple i mean you can literally physically open the fucking doors and stand in the fucking door and have at it you know what i'm saying look y'all if, if there's a door in front of you a physical door and it's jam is 36 inches wide. Okay, that's a three foot door now. Okay, that's a big door, right? If you get a piece of, I don't know, two by four, right? At 38 inches wide, and you put in the door at an angle with the bottom piece right by where the latch is, and you have the other piece up here, you can actually climb up on this side and jump and kick it down and level that bar out that piece of wood out flat and it opens the door i didn't know if y'all knew how to open a door but if you didn't know how to open a door that stuck that's how we do it in construction and demolition okay so there's ways to open doors people okay there's ways to open doors and there's ways to keep them open um Yeah, I, I, I worry because some, some people are fucking stupid. And we need a group of people that are willing to sit right there in front of the fucking cameras and fucking talk the shit that needs to be talked, okay? And this isn't a debate situation, okay? There is no debating here. The soldiers all come home, okay? They come home. Now, the ones that are out there with their life, you know, I'm not saying, right now, bring them home now, okay? I'm, I understand they got to finish their lives, you know what I'm saying? They're at home where they're at right now. They're living overseas, have lived overseas. Hell, if they just want to stay overseas and live over there and not come back to this fucked up place we've created or they've created or whoever's created at that point in time, I think that they should be allowed to stay, you know what I'm saying? You know, people can cut their losses. People can be free, you know what I'm saying, at that point. Um... All the damn political prisoners of the war on drugs needs to be released. Okay? They do. They do. I'm just saying, at least all of the marijuana people, period, period. I don't care if you got caught with 85 billion tons of fucking pot and you're looking at 95 life sentences, um, I think you should be released too. Um, so those are just some of the things that I think need to be changed. Uh, the education system needs a major revamp because um, there's things that need to be taught in schools that aren't, okay? If we're going to be forcing kids to go into these fucking prisons, which I don't agree with, then at least do the fucking, teach them how to, I don't know, organize their finances. Uh, maybe purchase a house, you know, finance a car, you know what I'm saying? How to get a job how to work in a workplace, 
how to grow your own food. Yes, you know, I think these are some things that, you know, people aren't learning, and it should be taught in school. You know, so yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there's a billion fucking changes, and it's not something I can sit here and just break down a 20-minute video and say, oh, do 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 do. And I'd like to point out who the fuck am I to make these decisions? By the way, okay, I'm just some guy chilling right here, fucking making this fucking videos and shit because I'm pissed. Okay, that's it. That, that that's what you see happening here. I'm serious. So. Yeah, you know, I don't know. I don't know how to, how to take it. I don't know what to do. You know what I'm saying? At this moment. You know, at this day. So I'm just kind of talking it through. You know, walking it out. Um, much love and much support all around. You know, I mean, everybody that's hit me up about it, you know, it's, it's you know, fucking epic. Fucking epic. If I can ask you and beg of you, you know, please, let's be sure to be civilized. I mean, that's the key here, y'all. How we handle this will be the precedent for the future. You know what I'm saying? We will show other people how to do things correctly. Okay? You see billions and billions and billions of protesters and stuff like that. And they're all outside of the places that have the control and power. The reason the people inside those places will not listen is because they see everybody doing the same damn thing and they know that the people don't think it's important enough to make a different change. Once you can capture another part of the system, you will then let them know, hey look, we mean business. We want things fucking changed now we're not gonna wait for your bullshit run around ways to change things we're gonna do things now and different so let's get the ball rolling there's no reason we can't American Idol set up fucking technology where we can grab the population we can get everybody their shit okay we have the money, the resources, and technology now to go ahead and grab everybody a little fucking cell phone, make 317 million little fucking cell phones, mail them off to everybody's fucking houses that were participating in the census and whatnot, and you even have some that places for people to pick up, right? Because now, y'all, we're going to have a live show running. Everybody has to be involved in this shit, right? Shit's stopping, right? We're going to change some shit, you know what I'm saying? Everybody at this date and time, they need to make these decisions. They need to watch what's going to be said and done because this is when everything changes. And this is where everybody in the fucking community, everybody in the states, everybody in the country, everybody in the world gets to see and participate in the changes that are coming. That's what's up, y'all. You think I'm kidding? You think I'm kidding? We can do it with facial recognition software and fucking geolocation and stuff like that to verify that the person casting that vote actually casted that fucking vote. Okay? Have it all done in real time on fucking every fucking network that we fucking commandeer. Right? And we say, hey, what do y'all think about this idea? Right? 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 And then as a fucking collective, the whole fucking group of people make a goddamn decision. I mean, am I the only one that even looks into another way of doing things? We got sci-fi writers that got fucking brilliant ideas. We need them motherfuckers, don't we? Don't we? I mean, look at all the resources that we would have at our fingertips. Look at all the technology we have at our fingertips. We just want the best for humanity. So we have humanity work together for the better good. Better good, greater good. Listen to me. See, I, I'm not that fucking PhD that's certified in this shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm old dude. You know what I'm saying? I'm old dude. That's all I am. I'm old dude on the video camera. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people know me as Mike McGee. Mike McGee is not my name, y'all. That is a fucking anonymous account. An anon account. 
a sock account, a fake account, a truther account. So yeah, um, in order for something like this to actually go down, like for real, for real go down, we would need everybody. 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 Not most people. Okay. We need the people that would disagree with this. And we can't be dick about it. We can't. We gotta be legit about it. Everybody wants to scream anarchy things until it's time to do anarchy things. You know, if you don't want to be controlled, then fucking better your surroundings, better your community, better those around you. Here's another thing. At minute 20, right? Let me go ahead and talk about this real fast. Everybody with your division, okay? Somebody's like, oh, I don't want to be a socialistic bullshit. I'm leaving. Oh, fuck this communistic crap. I'm out of here. Fuck this liberal bullshit. You know, you know, you're fucking hilarious, okay? Because those are all different aspects, like different emotions, okay? Like we have emotions, right? All these different stereotypes that you have are like different emotions. How you would see something in a different perspective and how... Because of cause and effect, different things would arise. It's a fractal of things. And it's, it's difficult for me to explain fractals to people that don't know fractals, but everything matches. Everything mirrors throughout the universe and your body, and et cetera, blah, blah, blah. We're all one God, God is everything, every atom, what, what not. You know what I'm saying? The whole. Okay, anyway. With the whole fractal of everything and the. The division, you're, you're, you're not understanding that there are aspects of your everyday life that are anarchy, you know, anarchistic, how do, however the fuck you say that, right? You got people every day, the same people, that participate in some sort of socialist aspect of their reality. Somebody does a communist aspect of their reality. Which it means communal, by the way. For y'all that don't know that. Okay, communist is communal. Socialist is communal. Okay, just thought I'd let you know. Democratic, right? Right? That's like having somebody rule above you because everybody else said that person should rule above all of y'all. Okay. So, a republic still has a leader, right? You know, so y'all do the whole leader thing, okay? And you put people above yourself. And above others, because of certain beliefs that they hold and they speak about. See, if I spoke about all of my communistic views, like how I think certain things should be infrastructure, things should be given to every man, woman, and child, just for the sheer fact that they're humans and we live in this day and age where we're at, be like that's some communistic control. If you're wanting everybody to have the exact same thing on that topic in that aspect and if I talk about the other forms of how I would have society structured there's socialistic parts where we all take part in it okay now of course everybody would have to agree on it right so there's like that democratic part of it Are y'all following me on any of or am I just losing you I don't even think I know how to fucking explain the stupidity of division okay it's like me trying to explain to y'all why Bugs Bunny doesn't fall whenever he walks over the cliff. You know what I'm saying? To me, it's so fucking stupid to even try to talk about. And it's difficult to talk about, but it has to be talked about. People need to realize, you know, Bugs Bunny just doesn't care about gravity. He doesn't acknowledge it. And that's the key there, y'all. You don't need to acknowledge some of this other division. Okay? Quit dividing yourselves and others just because you're taught to believe that is the way to do things. It's not. So, you gotta realize unity, you gotta realize community, you gotta realize all kinds of different aspects, okay? The blame game shit, you know what I'm saying? Everybody needs to say, okay, look, what happened, happened. Okay, that happened. Okay, we're done. We're done with that. Okay, shit fucking happened. New day. Forward we go. Now, after day one, day two, day three, day four, okay, look, let's start holding people accountable. Okay, so start doing that, okay? But let's cut some fucking losses. Okay, we gotta cut some fucking losses, okay? You gotta pick your fucking battles. 
And the battle that I want to win is the final battle, the war. You know what I'm saying? The war against humanity. The war against knowledge. The war against real freedom and not this illusion of freedom that everybody thinks they have. So that's what I got for you. I don't know if this helps or not. Um, you know, yeah, I'm not backing out by any means. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm full force. But some of y'all need to get on the right page in the right book. Okay? Just because you're on page 37 doesn't mean you're on the same book. So make sure your shit ain't filled with division and then get back with us. Take it out, y'all. Thank <laughs> you.